else you want? Boy, that little girl. Oh, definitely. Which one do you? You like the container? Your house? Yes. The concept started a few years back. I always had it as a student, architectural student. I really like the ephemeral structures and mobile homes and stuff like that. So I want to start a company that would deal with container homes basically because I really believe that the module is a powerful unit which you can expand in many, many ways. It starts with the bedroom, the sleeping area is at the, at the one end of the container. We have a short space in terms of width, basically, as you know, with all containers. This is the sleeping area. The space, the width is quite uh, short, so what we did is we designed the bed as a folding bed, so it folds up to the wall. So we have a storage space all around the bed. So this is the base closet. It's kind of large. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what's always. the size of the bed? It's a two meter bed, it's mm. a normal bed. Um, however, we have put it down this side. It, there is a space here to walk around, but that's so small that it's not really appropriate. We could always like turn the bed this direction and have it as a, as a day bed so you, you're able to see it as a sofa. You know, many people see it and you know think that oh this would work much better if that would be like that but other people really like it the way it is so I think it's just a matter of uh, it's only a matter of taste. This is a prototype house that is made for, as a holiday home yeah for two plus another one person this is another mattress a single mattress that perhaps two kids you know they're quite short <laughs> so you just open it like that that stores a lot Actually, yeah, things in there. the whole of it yeah all of it all of it you're not short with storage no not at all however if you want you could cancel the storage area and pull another single bed, create a double one, and have, you know, a, a huge basically bed here that can sleep more. Okay, this is a um, dining area. It can fit at least two or three people to dine. And you could place a mechanism on the wall and just pull it from... This could be movable. All the interior furniture are made of chipboard. It's quite flexible as material because you get to have a lot of looks, a lot of different colors, and it's quite a strong material actually. As you can see, the windows are huge. It's full of lights at the moment, although the, the orientation is north, northern. However, it doesn't show, it doesn't bother you. Actually, it's a good orientation if you have a lot of light because the light doesn't come in directly. So you put two sets of sliding doors? Yeah, that's right, two sets of sliding doors. We also have the shutters. They close this door, this side is closing with the safety shutters. The other side is closing with the container doors. So even if you are in a remote location, you are safe, basically. Yeah. Safe because it... Because, yeah, it closes uh, all around, yeah. These are safety shutters, aluminum safety shutters. So you definitely need it to be able to shut since it's a holiday home and you know it's only a few months per year that you are there. So you need the rest of the time to be kind of safe. Safely closed. Yeah. But you would never limit it, like you wouldn't close it at night or something for No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. The battery went out. 
or the electricity went out. There's a manual one, uh, or if you were inside, you would have to exit through that door. There are so many containers in the port of Athens because we have more, we do have more imports than exports. It happens in other ports of Europe and I think it's a global, it's the same thing. China works a lot. <laughs> this is what we call productive upcycling, yeah, productive recycling basically. Especially if we're talking for single units, because you know, if you say that okay, I want a hundred and fifty square meter of a house out of containers, this means that you need to start cutting and opening and create openings to the containers, and then you have to add materials to add columns and all this, and I think it starts losing its uh, initial purpose and meaning. I think that if you use the container to create a single unit that is transportable or at the most double one, that would be great, yeah? But if you start adding more and cutting more and adding more materials as a column and beams and stuff like that, it's not sustainable anymore. So what we really liked about the containers is the industrial look of it. And uh, this is why we kept the container doors, uh, we kept the original container doors. Uh, I think it really makes a good uh, contrast. It's really neat inside, whereas on the outside you have this uh, contrasting material that is totally industrial, it's old, it's rough. The wood is not the most appropriate one, but it was within our budget somehow, yeah. So you were prototyping? So, yeah, exactly, we were prototyping. We also have a green roof on top. It's out of season right now, so it doesn't have a lot of, um, of plants and they're mostly wild now. They grow wild. That's wild. That's great though. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Does that help with insulation? It does. And here are the headquarters of Kokomat. They are experts in mattresses made out of natural materials. This is uh, how we got here. Kokomat uh, started supporting us about a year ago. So this is um, our exhibition as well. It likes to be flash like hay. It likes to be flash. Potential clients come here and this is what they experience. So you decided to put so, big, big doors, window doors. Yeah, I mean this is uh, what we thought would give um, a sense of being outside, yeah, so blending the indoors, outdoors. They have thermal block, which means they don't leave the... They have really... They're soundproof and uh, they don't let the sun come in and uh, warm the container because, you know, in Greece this is an issue actually. And so it really keeps we actually we we achieve energy class a which is very important we have insulation both internally and externally we have a membrane to keep the, the humidity of uh, coming in and then we have the cladding external cladding and we also have rock wool at the moment so you don't need to heat the space or cool the space if it's between 10 and 28 degrees or something uh, which is, you know, very, very efficient. That's great, especially yeah. with a metal container, which exactly, you don't worry exactly, about. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that doesn't heat up, the metal's not. No, 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 because you have a lot of insulation. Um, uh, this is a generic light, we designed it. Uh, it's very simple and it really gives uh, the looks that we wanted to share, basically. <laughs> so Long and thin, like the container. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is the bathroom. It has one uh, small opening. You can air the whole space. Now that we opened it, you can feel a lot of uh, air coming in. If you place this side on the north, you would really be able to cool the space um, very efficiently, basically. 
The bathroom countertop is this cast material, similar to Korean. We decided to have the flush and the tubs built in the wall to reserve some space as well. Now the shower is very good in size. So all around the ceiling we have uh, this gap of the plaster board that allows us to basically transport the container without having any breaks. The plaster cracks, yeah? So, so by putting a small putting seam there... ...the material so it doesn't break. If you go on the outside... Uh, we added these beams. This is a 40 feet container. When you lift it, it naturally bends a little bit. So in order to lift it and keep everything in place, we had to put these beams. We have the water. There's the water provision. This is the TV antenna. This is a, basically this is a plug, external plug. And of course, if you want, you can totally do the house off grid yeah so the idea is to have one container that uh, supports the bathroom and kitchen facilities and then basically we add up space according to our needs mm -hmm. this is another option so we have 120 feet container with uh, kitchen bathroom facilities and we have same as this one, sitting area and bedroom. And then we add up another container to use as a guest room or something. This is another option we did for hotel. These are two small, two 20 feet containers. This is for the islands. Uh, That's a shipping container? Okay. Yeah. So you've completely... Transformed it. The Cladis is a traditional area and you cannot build whatever, yeah? So this is the option we got. You know, the zoning. The zoning, yeah, exactly. This is a big house with some guest rooms. You can have a green roof on top. You can have a solar panel system. Mm -hmm. I mean, possibilities are endless, really. But it makes sense to use them? Unless a client would really, really wanted a container house and he really loved the raw material and wanted to proceed with that, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but if you wanted to keep the cost down, mm -hmm. I would go for a metal construction. Yeah. 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 But for this kind of thing, for a small unit, does it yeah, make sense? Yeah, of course. Uh, this is what is uh, made for, I think.